Dylan has a follow-up from last week before we get into this week's question. Yes, we were talking a little bit about drive through etiquette. And because I had worked in food service uh, when I was younger, um, I sort of took the point, the lead point on that question and answer. Um, as would be expected, you know, for anyone that listens regularly. Um, the universe punished me a little bit uh, after I answered that question last week, which leads me to another question, and then I'll bring it back to how the universe punished me for um, speaking truth over my microphone and in, into the world. So you're going to tell how- us what your answer was for those that didn't hear it? Yeah. Oh, well, we were talking, we were talking about, you should just go back and listen, but um, we were talking a little bit about how there is context uh, to what you're ordering. There's a quantity versus quality argument. There's like, if you're a family of five and you're ordering like every fast food restaurant's pretty much prepared for five meals worth of food, you know, or probably less, but if you're ordering a lot more than you regularly would, or a large quantity of something. Um, I think we used Taco Bell as an example a couple different times. Like, you know, five people ordering 10 tacos is not necessarily that difficult or complex. That's a couple tacos per person. But if like your kids are at a soccer tournament and you want to order 35 quesadillas, those take several minutes a piece. Or if you're ordering Big Macs versus orders of fries and chicken nuggets, there's a complexity argument to be made for the quantity and and the the quality of what you're ordering. So, anyways. So, in sum, it was. It depends. Be right. considerate. <laughs> yeah, and if you start thinking, uh, should I call ahead or go in to place this order, or this if it feels in the pit of your stomach like it's a big order, and you're probably putting the people out by going through the drive-through, that's probably your answer. So. That was kind of how we solved that one. But go back and listen because we're hilarious. Anyways, <laughs> um, I now have a question in regards to that this kind of situation. What's the longest, assuming you don't have any place you have to be, what's the longest you'll wait in a drive through line for a meal? Not maybe just Starbucks or you're just trying to get like a Frosty or you know, a drink or something, but like, what's the longest you and your whole family in the car, nowhere to be, but you're trying to get dinner. Total time, total time, just sitting, not ordering. You haven't even ordered, just waiting. You're just sitting in the car, waiting in line to order, to place your food. Hmm. Nowhere to be. Yeah. You, you had mentioned having your family with you. Mm-hmm. Cause that, that changes everything for me. <laughs> I, I would probably expect like maybe five minutes waiting in line. If my wow. family's with me, well, we'll like, I, I mean, I'll scope out the line and be like, Nope, next place. If it's me by myself, nowhere to be. I'm the idiot who likes to just hang out in a car in a parking lot sometimes. <laughs> right. yeah. So I'll wait an hour. Like, I don't care. Um, if I have somewhere to be and it might make me late, like, I'll pull out and I'll leave. Are we assuming we're moving at all? So we have the, we have like little glimpses of hope to keep (laughs) us going. Let's say no. Five to 10 minutes and let 10 minutes. If it's a place I really love five minutes, if I was just popping in to grab something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's why I'm an idiot. So we went to Target yesterday. We went in, we had to get a lot of stuff. We had food, we had some like cold food in the car too. Really, from Target, there's lots of places we could go eat from our house, but the one on the way home that's the easiest that we all like is Taco Bell. Anything else, you're kind of backtracking a little bit. So I pull in to Taco Bell. All three of us are there. We don't have any real rush other than we just have cold food. And I can, you can see from the back of the line where I am up to where people are ordering that, I don't know, there's maybe five cars or something. So like it's considerable, but you figure most of the time, two, three minutes at most a car and you're, you know, at most. 
But the longer I wait, I start playing this game of, yeah, but by the time I leave and actually backtrack to get to somewhere, this could all be moving faster. Well, I let that game play far too long, 35 to 40 minutes later. Oh, what? I finally, we finally pulled up to place the order because every minute longer I wait is a minute longer. I'm going, yeah, but they've, they've got to be. But now I've been here this long. Now and I've been here. It's a combination of backtracking and how much longer will that take? Cause it is dinner <laughs> time and it's busy, but also I've been here this long. I'm kind of committed and I've kind of made it a thing that I don't, I I try not to second guess myself. You go to the grocery store, you pick a line, you keep looking around. Some people are like, oh, should I move to the other line? I don't do that. Every time I pick like that, I'm wrong. You try to change lane in traffic on the highway. You think one lane's faster. 47 cars pass you if you hadn't changed lanes. Every time I do that, I get punished for it. So I'm like, nope, not leaving. I'm just going to stick it out unless somebody gives me an idea of somewhere else to go. 35, 40 minutes, I don't know, something like that. We finally order, get our food. We get up to the window and chit chatting with the person. Very nice. There's multiple people in there. They seem busy. She reveals to me, oh, yeah, like 20 or 30 minutes ago, which I'm thinking, I- I've okay, I was in line at that point. Mm-hmm. 20 or 30 minutes ago, this car came through and ordered $80 worth of food. Ouch. And then the next two cars each ordered 40 to $50 worth. Oh of food. my gosh. So, like three cars in a row were that entire holdup to where if we had been maybe 10 minutes faster, we would have mm-hmm. missed all of that. Yeah. Which perfectly segues back to the how long would you wait and should you be ordering that much food? The lobby is open at this restaurant. So, any of mm-hmm. them could call ahead, could have called ahead. And could have gone in and ordered food to take it out. We um, we need to be more mainstream, you guys. If we were more mainstream, it would have saved your experience. We've got to get somebody who's willing to do marketing and social media for free. Yeah. <laughs> I will say Indeed. the double beefy cheesy burritos were at least delicious. Yeah. When I- because um, like I mentioned, for, for Taco Bell, it's very possible because Taco Bell has a big hump in their system that they need to, to tamp down. And and their online ordering and their app ordering, mm-hmm. that is a problem of theirs. And I mean, because I would, I would make the assumption if I didn't already know this, that hey, I'm ordering for a bunch of people. I'm going to go ahead and order online and go pick it up. And as we all know, that doesn't tell Taco Bell to start making your food. They don't start making your food till you pull up and they hear your name in the speaker. Right. Um, yeah. So, so it I'm is sure- possible that it wasn't the customer's fault necessarily i would blame taco bell's shoddy online ordering system yeah but and i'm sure we have listeners at all levels of taco bell leadership so if you want to consult us pull us in quick video conference we're happy to discuss solutions um also also accept gift cards just my favorite part of that whole story is me imagining dylan and he's the kind of person as am i in a lot of things where you get kind of like this weird commitment feeling of commitment to I've been here this long. And of course, as soon as I leave, it's going to speed up. So might as well. So I don't know if I would go 40 minutes in a drive through line, but um, I, I like the, the thought of Dylan being emotionally attached to not only his place in line, but I think it matters that it was Taco Bell. It does matter that it was Taco Bell. <laughs> there are probably other, a lot of other places I wouldn't have stayed that long, but <laughs> it is, it happens to be the most convenient place on the way home that we all eat yes. with being me, my wife and child. So um, it definitely factors in that it was Taco Bell uh, amongst other variables. Yeah. Yeah. The Chihuahua is your spirit animal. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And I'd also be thinking if I'm Dylan, like whatever problem is occurring, because this is a problem, right? Is getting one minute fixed with each minute that passes. So if the quesadilla smasher cooker thing, hot plate thing is broken, it's going to be fixed soon. And if I depart now, I will have wasted all this time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, right. I will say I was not so stubborn that I didn't ask multiple times for other ideas and was never given any. So 
Um, I just hung in there. And, there uh, All right. And we actually still had our Taco Bell. All right.